Good morning. I hope you all had a great week. The Bible has many references to shepherds and sheep. Think of Jesus' birth story and how the shepherds came to worship the Christ child. I recall when our boys were little and we were telling them the Christmas story, one of our sons asked, well, what happened to the sheep? when the shepherds ran off to Bethlehem to see the Christ child? That's a good question. The sheep shepherd word picture is at the heart of the best loved Psalm 23. This is a psalm that we've used at many funerals and many of us have it memorized. Some prominent shepherds in the Bible are Abel, Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, Moses, and David. Well, I have done some reading about sheep, and they are not strong, independent creatures, not proud hunters. In fact, um, there are about three reasons why sheep are entirely dependent upon shepherds. Number one, sheep are not very smart. It has been reported in the news lately about 400 sheep who fell to their death off of a 15 meter ravine in Van province near Iran. There were 1100 that followed one after the other and they survived because the first 400 broke their fall. Well, the shepherds were eating breakfast nearby. A second reason the sh the sheep need a shepherd is that they are directionless and prone to wander. Even in beautiful pastures and, and great uh, environments, they can get lost and a hawk could swoop down and take one. So it's pretty important that the shepherd watch the sheep. Well, the third reason that sheep need a shepherd is that they are defenseless. If they are left by themselves very long, they probably would not survive. They have no fangs, claws, quills, venom, sharp teeth. They're not fast at running away, and especially if their wool is long. I read recently that in Australia there was a sheep left out in the wild for a long time and they sheared 75 pounds of wool from this one sheep. And if, and if the sheep get around water, their wool can get very heavy, and that would slow them down. They do not bark or growl, roar or hiss. The best a sheep can do is just go bah. And when afraid, the sheep just clump together in a circle, in a panic. In Bible times, a sheepfold was a simple stone enclosure with an opening. And at night, the shepherd laid down in the opening and served as a human door. And that way, the wolves would have to climb over the shepherd to get to the sheep. Or the sheep would have to climb over the shepherd to get out. The shepherd's staff was multi-purpose. It was a walking stick with a crook used to retrieve wayward lambs. And the rod was a club to fend off predators. Very useful for shepherds. So, sheep are not smart. They are directionless and defenseless. When Jesus says we are sheep who need a shepherd, he is being very realistic in saying who we are and what we need. We are dependent upon Jesus being like a shepherd to guide us and protect us.
To say that Jesus is our shepherd and we are his sheep is to humble ourselves, admitting what is true about us, and to elevate Jesus, declaring what is true about him. He is our protector who keeps us safely in his fold. So when we say, the Lord is my shepherd, it means that we should praise and glorify him because he, the shepherd, reaches out to care for the poor, the lost, and those in need. Let us pray. O oh Lord, shepherd of all your people, we thank you for your love, so great that you laid down your life for the sheep. Help us when we are weak, hungry, in pain, and discouraged. Bring us into the fold. In Christ's name, amen.